Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solder and desolder header pins, and I'm going to show you different techniques on how to do that. Let's get started. First, I'm going to take these header pins and put it onto an Arduino Nano. First, I'm going to show you the wrong way of soldering these pins. If you were to solder them into place by holding them into place by hand, it'll cause them to be bent. And when they're bent, they won't go into devices like these. The correct way of doing this is to take a breadboard, take your header pins, and place them into the breadboard. Make sure that they align properly with the Arduino Nano, for example. And now take your header pins and place them into the breadboard and push them in all the way. So that way they're nice and straight. And now take your Arduino Nano, for example, and place them onto the header pins. Make sure all of the pins go through all of the holes. And now it's time to solder the header pins into place. And of course, try to avoid putting too much solder on some of the pins, which I actually did. Yes, I do admit my solder job is a little sloppy, but it still works. And now a very simple way to remove the Arduino Nano from the breadboard is take the screwdriver and gently pry up each end until it's easy to pull out. And there, all the pins are now perfectly aligned. Nice and straight and even. Now, I can just simply take this circuit and place it onto a device like this. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Fits in without any problems. Goes in and out easily. And there, now you know to solder in header pins the proper way. And now it's time to desolder the header pins, and I'm going to show you different techniques on how to do it. First technique is to take a hot air gun and some pliers, and just simply melt the solder on each point and then gently pry each pin so that way it moves ever so slightly until it comes off on the board. The second technique is to take a solder plunger and remove all of the solder from each of the header pins. And now the third technique, you can take a soldering iron and some pliers and just gently pry each time you melt the solder. The fourth technique, which in my opinion I think is the best, is to use a solder combo plunger. This solder plunger, that's also a soldering iron, can also heat up and melt the solder and remove the solder at the same time. The fifth technique is to take some extra solder and melt a bunch of solder on all of the header pins and bridge them all together, which will cause the solder to melt a little bit easier and make it easier to pry it off like the other technique that I showed you, which is a little bit too sloppy. So I don't recommend doing this technique. And as you can see, this technique also works, but this is why I say it's also very sloppy, because you can see some of the solder has melted through, and it also solder tinned all of the header pins, which is also gonna make it very hard to reuse these header pins. So what I'm gonna do is use my preferred method, and that is to take the soldering iron and melt it and use a plunger. This, in my opinion, works the best for me. The solder wick. I personally don't like using solder wick. It works, but it doesn't seem to work as well, and it also overheats components. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my other technique, and that is to use a hot air gun. This technique actually works very well because you can evenly heat up all of the solder, and it comes out much easier but this too can also overheat components, so you need to be careful when using this. But as you can see, it works very well. And there, finally, I've got the header pins removed. And as you can see, they're very messy. They're all pulled uneven, and they're all solder tinned but this was for demonstration purposes. You can always straighten them all out by 
going over to a flat surface and pressing down and making sure that they all line up evenly. And then you can probably clean this up and reuse them. In my opinion, I find it very difficult to remove header pins from circuits. If you were to place them in in the first place, you have to be very sure that you want to place them in and make sure you place them in correctly the first time. Otherwise, you'll be leading yourself into a very difficult mess. And there you have it. Now you know how to solder and desolder header pins from any kind of circuit. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.